When you don't have a designated self-tape setup that stays up, it can make just doing a self-tape audition daunting. Setting up lights, sound, and backdrops is already time-consuming and takes away from the actual prep of the audition itself. Then the last thing you want to have to do is break it all down after all that work. This has been me for the past seven months, and I see how all these steps have made me less productive and less excited about getting a self-tape audition. So this video is for the minimalist, time-saving actor who needs the very bare minimum setup for a self-tape audition. It's also perfect for travel, when you have roommates, a small studio apartment, or no extra room to set up bulky lights and put up backdrops. Or if you're just feeling lazy. So let's get after it. First, you may want to paint a wall, use peel and stick wallpaper, hang a colored sheet or colored paper that just stays up always. I'm not a fan of white backdrops, and you can watch this video to see why. These are the only equipment you will need for your self-tape. A tripod, a phone, a portable lighting kit, and an easy plug-in directional mic. All of these products will be mounted on this super affordable mounting contraption called a video rig. It's really compact and easily stowable. Now, let's see these tools in action. First, the tripod. I love my Manfrotto because it's so easy to use, really light and folds down compact. It's especially good for when I'm out of town and I can just throw it in my luggage in case I need to do an audition while I'm away. Then the video rig. It has so many mounting docks to hold the light, your phone, and mic to be put on your tripod in any direction. Speaking of light, let's take a look at this super cheap and portable light. There are many different settings, from cool to warm, from bright to dull. This little device is super powerful and there's no need for a ring light when you have one of these. Although this Shure mic is a little pricey at $199, it offers a lot of freedom. It is just a plug and go situation. No mic checks, no clipping, and it's directional. So you will always be louder than your reader. I'm gonna give you an example of that. Okay, right now I'm unmiked. Here is me mic'd. Okay, can you hear the difference that now it's very directional. I can easily edit this in post where my sound sounds very crisp. It will cancel out ambient noise or reverb bouncing around the room. But of course, if you're on a budget, this would be a splurge item and something you can get along the line once you start booking more. And if you're wondering how to be a working actor, you can download and read my free ebook in the description below. Now the only thing left is where to put your reader if you don't have a live one. If you don't have a desk or you need your reader at eye level or even if you have so many lines and no time to memorize, you can put a teleprompter and or your reader on a music stand which has the ability to slide up and down. Now I don't normally condone teleprompters over prep, but if you are in an absolute bind on time and you have a four page procedural, I'm all about it. If you're wondering what teleprompter app I'm using, it is the Prompt Smart Pro that you can purchase in the App Store for 20 bucks. It follows the sound of your voice and moves up as you read. It's a much better alternative than holding your sides and referring down at them as opposed to keeping at eye level of your reader, in my opinion. Once you've finished your self-tape, packing up is a breeze. Everything but the music stand can go in a decorative storage basket, or any other bin of your choosing, to be used again. If this video helped you, hit that like button. What was the thing that helped you the most? For more acting tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and tell your friends. See you next time. Oh,